Okay, guys. So let's continue on, right, on how we separate the files. Okay. So sometimes you would like to organize your codes in in a more organized way. Organized, right? Okay. So what you can see on screen, I actually have a class. I have a main, right? So sometimes we can separate our codes to make it a, a bit more manageable, okay, in many different ways. So in this case, what I'll do is, okay, I'll try to separate the codes in several different files to let you see how we can actually manage them the way we want it. Okay, like for example, okay, uh, in this case, clearly I have a class and I have a main, right? So I might want my main to be in another file and my class to be in another file, right? So it's very simple. So in this case, okay, um, you can do it with any compiler, but I'm showing you using uh, uh, online JDB, which is the more convenient way. So what I can do here is you can see here, I can create a new file. If you are using Visual Studio, you can always create a new file within the same folder, right? And you can, if uh, for any other compilers that you use, you can do the same. Uh, if you're using Xcode, it's the same, right? You create a new file within the same folder that is containing the main file. So you have a file called main CPP. So you want to make sure that all the other files that is related to this main is stored within the same folder. So I'm just giving you layman terms uh, in order for you to understand clearly. So let's create a new file. Right, and I would like to name this file maybe student.h, okay, which is maybe a header file. I can use a CPP file, it doesn't really matter. So it can be .h or .cpp, regardless. But I would, would like to just, you know, differentiate uh, my files, okay. So I create student.h here, okay, and you can see I have a new file here. So what I'll do is, right, I will copy everything from hash include IO stream to the end of the class student and I'm going to cut this and I'm going to store it here okay so in this case you see that I actually do not include anything here will the main work yes but you'll have syntax error because this is not this is not uh, I mean uh, practical anymore because they are two different files so how do we connect these two files even though we separate them in a more organized way okay very simple you have the name of student.h okay so all you need to do is hash include normally for other pre-defined libraries uh, we will use the arrows right 11 right arrows but what I can do is I can use double quotation and I put there student dot h, okay, student dot h. So when I put student dot h, uh, and it is within the double quotation, it practically tells the compiler to find this file student dot h within the same folder that within the same folder and uh, workspace that I'm working in, rather than getting the uh, predefined libraries like uh, IO stream and stuff like that, which is which is stored together with the compiler right so what i need to do is just hash include student.h if i don't have hash include student.h if i run this program you will guess what will happen i will have errors okay because it doesn't make sense uh because uh, we don't have we, we cannot use string we cannot use c out because there is no include io stream there is no include uh, uh there's no using name says standard okay and once I include student.h and I run the program, the output will be exactly the same as what you have done just now, right? Okay, there we go. Can you see that? Okay, so what happens here, okay, is when I include student.h, uh, during execution, it will link the files, okay? And it will find student.h to link to student.h and include everything that is here, including IO stream string and namespace standard. Therefore, you can now use C in, C out, okay? Without having IO stream being included in this file. So now I've separated these two files, right? Okay, it looks neat, right? No problem here. Yeah? Okay. 
I can further mm, break this file down, okay, to a third one, okay, where maybe uh, here I have uh, two functions and one constructor. There's a utility function, okay, and there is a uh, there is a public function and there is a public constructor. I would like to keep my class short and nice and have all the uh, function definition to be uh, separated from this file. So what I can do here is, you have to see this carefully, right? I create another file. I will call this student.cpp, right? Rather than .h. So I have another file here, right? And the same as main, I'm going to have hash include student.h to link them. All right. And this is what I do. First, I'm going to copy this. Put here. I'm going to copy the constructor. And this is the next function definition. Okay. We are talking about function definition here, guys. And the last one is print. Right? There we go. And including student H by itself is not enough. It's not enough. You have to mention where this function comes from. Okay, where this function comes from. So this function comes from the class name student. Okay, so what you remember when we do this, right? Remember that? That means that we are using a C out from namespace standard, right? So we have the uh, two colon to specify that C out is from the namespace std. So same thing can be done here with this function. So if this function comes from the class name student, all I need to do is just student then colon calc. And then the constructor student colon student, uh, double colon student and void student double colon print. And I have all these function definition here. Once I have all the definition set out right here, all I need to do here is just to make my function definition, definition becomes the prototype. So I just need to delete the definition and I have full prototype. So to make this official, I'll just put void here and I'll have void here. And now I have a very clean looking class. Right, a short one. Can you see how short that is? Right, okay. So, student, all data members, I have three function definition and all the, eh, sorry, three function prototypes and all the definition has been shifted to student.cpp where student.cpp will be linked to student.h just like the way main is being linked to student.h. Okay, so you, you can see how neat that is, right? So now let's run the program. It will work exactly the same. Exactly the same, just like before. There we go. All right, guys. So that is how you separate the files, right? So to make it more manageable, you can see main is here, student.h is here, student.cpp is here, separating them. It's as simple as that. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Have fun doing this one. Okay. Goodbye. Okay,